Hello, my friends and sisters of the internet. My name is XX, Swiss and Oops, XX, and welcome back to a brand new video of Subnautica. Now, the last video we did for Subnautica, we found uh, the weirdest glitch I've possibly ever seen in this game. Actually, no, not really, but it was pretty weird. It was a crab squid, and he was uh, floating in midair. Um, I'm taking a guess a mushroom never loaded up properly or something that it was supposed to be in, so he was just uh, floating in midair. But, um,. Yeah, that's what happened in the last video, so today in this video we're gonna go explore around some more. But, um, instead of, uh, taking the Nautilus, the Nautilus is just gonna be docked there for now. We're gonna take this, because, um, the Smiter, the Smiter V is, uh, a lot, uh, a lot easier to maneuver around, and it's a lot, uh, gets me to places quicker, where actually the Nautilus is a lot faster. Than the Smiter V, but what? Okay, everything. Loaded. Now this is a lot faster, but it's just a lot. It's not as agile and it doesn't maneuver as good as the Smiter V. So we're gonna take the Smiter V. If you don't know what the Smiter V is, it's this thing we're driving here. This thing is called a Seamoth. Seamoth is a, a very sexy machine that I use a lot because, like I said, it's it's a lot more agile and it can go to more places than the. Cyclops can or Venatilus, whatever you want to call it. I call it Venatilus because that's the name I gave it, but it's called a Cyclops submarine. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, we're just gonna go explore around like we usually do. Um, I was planning on going to the inactive lava, but I don't know if I'll be able to get out to it right now. I'm out of time, I'm out of time limit here, see, so. I'm not too sure if I will be able to go there. Okay, there's, uh, it's a mushroom forest the fuck? I forgot to show you guys a major update done to the inactive lava zone. They, they made a major, they put a, they uh, la, 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 I'll get it, I'll spit it out eventually. Oh fuck. They updated that place massively. They added a whole new area to it and everything. Stop doing that you scumbag. Jesus Christ. The lag is real right here. This game is fucking not loaded up yet. The mushroom forest is the worst for it. Anyways, as I was saying, they did a major update to the inactive lava biome that I forgot to fucking cover. Like, I never covered it because I was just too fucking lazy to go to it, see? Classic me. But they updated it a lot. They didn't add any life forms in it yet, but they updated it. They gave it a whole new area. There's actually a bottom level to it, and it's fucking crazy. I gotta show it to you guys whenever I get the time. I don't think I'll be able to get the time in this episode. Or video, whatever you want to call it, because um, currently, right now, I'm searching for it and I have not found it yet. <laughs> These are the mountains. It's supposed to be a Reaper Leviathan over here. Actually, if this is the mountains, then we should be nearby the Grand Reef. If I'm correct. No, we're in a oh, this is uh, the Blood Kelp 2, okay. Not what I wanted, where I wanted to go, but. I guess it will do for now. I suppose I could check out the, um, since the power, I've never really been to the, how was it, the, or it was, no, I haven't been, I haven't, uh, where was it added in the power nap update? I'm not too sure. There's a crab squid chasing me. I haven't been to the fucking, uh, what is it? The uh, the Lost River lately. Let's go to the Lost River. It's down here. I know my way around. I've played this game a lot, so I don't really need a map. I know my way around the world. Fuck off, the Seuss Web Store. She's you scared the shit out of me. Never do that again. You know what the blood kelp sounds like? It's fucking sketchy in here. They seem to have added a soundtrack. Alright. The last liver, uh, liver, the last liver, yeah, I lost my liver. The last river is a very tricky biome to maneuver through so far because it's got this green fog in it. And it throws you off completely. And there's a lot of little gullies and stuff in here as well. That make you think it's a cave system, but it just leads you to a dead end. 
I suppose it's for when uh, if, when they put the the bigger creatures like the Phantom Leviathan and uh, the Sea Emperor is actually supposed to be uh, a friendly creature apparently or neutral. He's around there. He's not supposed to be aggressive. He's supposed to be friendly or neutral. I'm thinking neutral. Well, if he's friendly, then it'd be pretty cool. But a lot of people would are saying he's going to be neutral. So like, let's say if you fucking he won't attack you unless you attack him. Pretty much more like the Pigman off of Minecraft. That's what a lot of people are saying he's gonna be like. Um, a lot of the creatures that are going to be down here though are going to be extremely hostile and extremely large. The Spineal is going to be a large creature because he lives... When I get... I'll show you what I'm talking about here now once I fucking get to it. What the hell is this? Okay, is this the last river? What the fuck? It? Yeah, this is it here, okay. Anyways, when we find what I want to find, oh my god, see, this is why it drives you nuts. This is raw. Isn't there supposed to be a giant fucking head right here? Oh. Maybe I'm just not close enough to it yet. Maybe it's up this way more. Yeah, there it is. No. Where the fuck is it? Let me see the big ribs come out of the ground. Well, no, we're, uh, there we are. Oh, I think they upgraded them. I can't really remember the last time I was in here. And yeah, they look like they yeah they got a kind of a texture in on the go with them in here now. Yeah, can we can we still drive through them? Yes we can. We are not they are not solid objects yet, but there is a texture on the go with them. Before we never had a texture. So yes. They did update it a little bit. They gave it they gave them kind of a texture. But uh a very a very clay like texture, a <laughs> very plain weird ass texture. Now, if you're wondering what these things are going to be for, the Phantom Leviathan usually patrols through here. He's quite a big creature. This biome's probably going to be a lot bigger too. What the fuck is that over there? I'm not... It's not where the head is. The head's back, back this way more. If you're wondering what this is, it's supposed to be a skeleton of a uh, sea dragon leviathan. And a sea dragon leviathan is a colossal creature itself. It is massive. It is huge. I mean, you can spawn it in the game now and it is absolutely giant. Like, it is huge. It's a big motherfucker. That's supposed to be a skull of one, but... That's a skull of one. I don't see how to fucking... Oh, look at that. What is all that shit there? They got some plant life down here now. That's supposed to be the skull of one. The spine eel is uh, apparently supposed to live in here. This is where the spine eel lives. He lives in this here. What the fuck? He lives in this here. This is where the... Uh, this is where the spine eel lives. He lives in the mouth of this. And he comes out. So just to give you a scale of probably how big the spine eel will be, let me just get out of the... the fucking... Uh, the seam off here now. Okay, so, let me just swim up here for a second. So you see, uh, the exact scale of, uh, that skull, that, that head. That's the sea moth. That thing can swallow the sea moth and a cyclops whole without even chewing it. Well, depends. If the cyclops is on an angle, then yeah, we'll probably have to chew it, but... The spine eel only is probably about... From this tooth to the Seamoth in, in uh, length and width. Uh, that's how big the Spineal is going to be. The Spineal is a very big creature and he is a hostile creature. And I'm quite excited for him to be implemented into the game. I can't wait till we get this biome done because this is uh, this biome is actually gonna have a major part in the game's story because it's where the Sea Emperor is. They've been really slow on update. They did. They were good, doing good on releasing updates. They must be working on a big. They must be working on this or something. Currently, right now, they must be working on something big, because they haven't updated this game in a while. I mean, they're coming out with update uh, with an update for every two weeks with this game, man. Like, they're doing pretty good there for a while, but then they fucking they just fucked off after the power nap one. So they must be working on something big. 
It must be. And we are now back to the blood kelp zone. But I mean, like, I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm gonna be playing this game, and it's like I'm gonna play it like the Minecraft Let's Players played Minecraft. I'm gonna play it even when the full version is released. I'm just gonna play it. I'm gonna keep playing it. When the full version is released, I'm going to start playing survival more because then the story will be actually implemented into the game. Right now, the story isn't really implemented into the game. There is a story. You crashed and a, your spaceship crashed, and you're you're la you're the only survivor of it. But uh, once the actual like the full story of the game gets implemented into it, that's when I'm gonna start playing it. That's a big fucking lag. Um. Yeah. Okay. I have no fucking idea what just happened. I have no idea, but it just happened, whatever it was, and it's happening again. Could you stop? Could you load your fucking ass up? It's not that hard. This game requires, uh, one gigabyte of VRAM. Uh, I have two gigs of VRAM in my GTX 960. I should be able to run this game, no problem. Then again, it's early access, and it's not polished. I've been after actually a lot of games I've played have 1 gig of VRAM and like it required 1 gig of VRAM and I've been using the 960 and it runs it pretty well. Now I'm, I'm planning on uh, instead of getting a GTX 1080 I think I might get a GTX 1070 because the 1070 is basically like the Titan X but cheaper. Like it's a cheaper version of the Titan X. The 1080 is like a 780 Ti, but on steroids. You want to know something? A fun fact. I was looking at a 780 Ti, right? And the 780 Ti actually has more CUDA cores than the GTX 1080. No lie. The 780 Ti has like 2500 and something CUDA cores, and the 1080 I think has 2300 or 2400. The, the GTX. 780 has more CUDA cores than the 1080, but it has an extremely low clock speed compared to the 1080. The clock speed, the clock speed is a uh, is a is a really important thing for how fast your GPU goes. The the 780 would work. The 780 Ti would work for playing games, but it wouldn't be very fast on pumping out the graphics. It would be quite slow at pumping out graphics. But you would have no shortage of uh, processing power for graphics and like beefiness because it has a lot of CUDA cores. It only has, I think, 3 gigs of VRAM, I'm not too sure. Well, then again, that was a non reference one I was looking at, so. But I know that was the originally the GPO wanted, but then I went and got a GTX 970 and that didn't fit in my old computer so I brought that back and then I bought this new computer I got with a GTX 960 in it. I'm still debating on upgrading it or not but I'm not too sure. I want to get a GTX 1080 or I might just wait until they come out with a new Titan and then upgrade because they're gonna be coming because now Radeon is getting the RX 480 out now that's uh, officially released so it's just only going to be a matter of time before, uh, and uh, just going to tell you, the RX 480 actually blasts the shit out of the GTX 1070 and 1080. It actually blasts the shit out of it for uh, the fact that it's this, it's supposed to be the competitor card with the 1070. It blows the absolute shit. It destroys the 1080 for performance. It is extreme. It is an extreme graphics card, and it is actually pretty impressive. Um, so, you know NVIDIA is going to come out with two more GPUs. Two more GPUs, they're going to come out with the 1080 Ti, and they're going to come out with a new Titan. If they don't come out with a new Titan, then there's something wrong with them, because the 1080 beats the Titan X for clock speed and CUDA cores. The only thing it doesn't beat the Titan X with is its, uh, is how much VRAM it has. The Titan X has 12 gigs of VRAM, the 1080 only has 8. 12 gigs of VRAM is the master. It's, it's the master it's the master because it's a lot of VRAM and you don't have to worry about running out of VRAM as fast me I'd say I only get like a couple years on my like uh what the fuck is up with that lag dude shut up stop lagging you fucking asshole 
I say only get a, I say I'll about get a year or so in a mine before the, before the VRAM goes in it. Or maybe three years or so, because then again, RAM doesn't really burn out that quickly. If you got good RAM in it, and it's NVIDIA, it's, NVIDIA is a good GPU. It's like, the, in my opinion, NVIDIA is the best GPU brand you can get. Because you just, they got it, they do it right. But, um, usually it should be about three years before you should have to upgrade to a new GPU. So... I'm interested to see now what uh, NVIDIA is going to come out with to uh, compete with the RX 480. Uh, AMD got a RX, 480, RX 490, RX 490X, and RX 490 Fury X. They got four more GPUs to come out AMD to, and NVIDIA to create two GPUs that will successfully kick the shit out of those four GPUs that AMD is coming out with. So it's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of craziness for uh, Nvidia because Nvidia is uh, if you're wondering Nvidia doesn't make the GPUs for the consoles it's AMD that does that's why Nvidia is uh, very that's why Nvidia is like I don't know it's, it's Nvidia they're fucking badass like that AMD makes the garbage fucking GPUs for the consoles I don't give a fuck what you say I don't give a fuck what the console makers say. I don't give a fuck. PS4 says they're gonna have 4K in a GPU. I'd like to see that fucking happen. Impossible. Unless they give it an actual desktop GPU that is able to run 4K and if they can somehow manage to fit it in their tiny system, and uh, like an RX or something like that, then then yeah, I'll, I'll be amazed, but still, I think that's a, a mere thing in the future for consoles, because consoles really do not have the capabilities of running games at their max settings. I don't know, I fucked up when I said that. Anyways, this video has been going on for too long. Yes, it's been going on for 17 minutes. Fuck sakes, I was... I, 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 I recorded this for way too long, so um, I'm going to have to end it here. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter for video updates of what are going to come out. Share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Share it with your friends on Google Plus if you got friends that use Google Plus. So not like a playlist will be in the description below. And as always, my name is XX Twist and XX, and I'll see you brothers and sisters in the next video. <laughs> Peace!